Hey everybody, welcome back to another Dark and Light video. Today we're going to be doing some taming. Now, we're going to be doing a harder creature, which is the Vicious Bargash. We're going to be doing one that's a little bit easier, which is the Unicorn. But real quickly guys, we are here at this island. I still don't exactly know what it's called because I haven't looked it up. But there's skeletons. There's, well, there's the remains of like a huge dragon, but we're kind of here just to kind of see a couple of these creatures that we haven't really played around with before. So here in front of us is the Fire Lord, and I actually have killed one of these off camera, so the little bestiary thing's not going to pop up, but yeah. Um, these things are basically kind of like little advanced fire elementals. They don't really do much. They kind of like look a little bit creepier, but they're surprisingly not that strong. You kind of see his character model there. The first time I fought one of these, I thought they were going to be like super strong, but no, not really. And uh, if you kind of just whack at them, uh, you get some dust, which is kind of cool. That stuff is useful for a couple of projects. But one thing that I actually I didn't realize up until recently is this is actually the island where you find the Infernus Dragon. Which I didn't realize this. So right in front of me, obviously, there is a big red fire dragon. So that is the Infernus Dragon. And we will have to tame one of those in a future episode. Obviously not now. Because we don't have like the iron hooks and stuff to get ready for it. But that is the first look at the Infernus Dragon. One day, or in like one or two episodes, we will be able to get that. Which is very, very exciting. But like I said... Today we are going to be getting two tames, but before we do that, also, we're going to be doing something kind of exciting. So last episode, we went to the ice dungeon and kind of just did like the first two steps in to kind of see what's up. Now, we're going to be going over to the volcano, but not to the dungeon itself. So the dungeon itself, I realized after this video that it is behind the volcano. And there's like a little entrance there. And it's kind of just like the ice thing. The deeper you go, the hotter it gets. The one thing that I've always kind of to try though is on top of the volcano. Is there something inside the volcano? Can we go like on top? Is there anything there? Now I could just simply Google it or watch a video. But you know what? I'm adventurous. I kind of want to figure it out myself. So real quickly, we're going to get some ice one stuff together. Which of course is the elf like specialized kind of gear because of course the dwarven have their brimstone and we're going to be taking a brunda so yeah we're going to grab our gear take a brunda and just kind of see what is up now i am fully planning on going there and probably heating up and dying like i did with the ice dungeon but i'm prepared for that that's fine i came into this and real quickly, I do want to mention that the audio is a little bit muted right now because I'm having some trouble editing this video. But you know what? It happens. It'll only be for like a minute or two. But yeah, you could see up there, there's a lot of smoke and fire. I've always kind of wondered what that actually was or like, can you go up there? Because I know, I know, now I know, the dungeon is in the back. But, um, spoiler alert. Yeah, I, I don't know if there's anything up there, but that sure does look spooky. Uh, but when you hit, like, a certain threshold, you, like, go to, like, minus 500 degrees. And, uh, yep, see right there, you can just see the numbers kind of skyrocket. And uh, that is uh, a little bit rip right there. So we got to head back down. So what we're going to have to do here is, I think I mentioned it last episode, but when you get to high temperatures, when you get to... A place with a lower temperature it actually doesn't just go straight up or down it slowly goes so you could see here I'm like pretty much at a quarter health and I was hoping that it would go down because now I'm not there but it's not going to so we're just gonna recall back to town leave our Burunda there it isn't a safe place and animals don't burn up uh, I don't think anyone could go up like anything could go up there but that's fine we recalled grabbed our stuff and yeah we're good so now we know uh, don't touch the top of the tower because you are probably going to die. But let's get on to our next thing, which is the Vicious Bargash. So, of course, for that, we're going to need many, many, many stone and hook arrows. Now, funny thing, I actually wasn't completely on planning to tame this this episode. I was actually planning to get the unicorn, and only the unicorn, 
But then I saw this and I said, hey, you know what, why not? So this is right in front of your screen, our first attempt at a Vicious Bargash. Luckily for us, they are not that quick, so we can pretty much just hit it. Now, unluckily, which I'm going to tell a little story here, this was a pretty big pain in the butt because for some reason it does catch up. But, of course, there's Deathstalkers everywhere trying to mess up my tame. But we actually fail the first one right here, this Vicious Bargash that you see in front of me. We actually fail it and we die. Now, we go back and pick up our body, but of course, we will get a Vicious Bargash today. Uh, but this first one here, it took quite a bit because things kept attacking me very annoyingly, like these goblins over here. Like, ah, they were so annoying because all the animals just, for some reason, wanted to gather exactly where I was for today. But you can see here, I'm still working at the Vicious Bargash here. And then, of course, another goblin comes in, and then a Deathstalker comes in. So, like, what am I supposed to do at this point? Deathstalker, goblins, Deathstalker, goblins, vicious bargash. Like, what am I supposed to do? And he, you could see I do pick up my stuff because I die once again. Now, the problem is the vicious bargash, I'm pretty sure, died from the Deathstalker. But here we have found another one. I was actually just going to completely cut that out of the video and say, okay, you know what? We won't do the vicious bargash. But then the second I went to look for another unicorn, I found another vicious bargash. So I was like, you know what? That is completely fine. We're going to go back at it again. And this one, it seems like it doesn't really know what it's doing because it's running around all derpy. But it doesn't look like there's any death stalkers around. And there's that trap that could be a problem. But vicious bargeshes tend to be very linear thinking. Once they attack something, they kind of keep attacking it unless you kind of run pretty far away. So we're going to be able to get this one, hopefully. Now, it is only level 8, which is a fairly low level, but considering what we're taming here, probably going to need it to be, and I'm pretty sure it's going to fall down right here next to this tree, and boom, down it goes. Now, the easy part was getting it down. Now, basically, the hard part is actually waiting, because this is one of those creatures that tends to take hours and hours and hours and hours. So, of course, I'm talking over the footage, so... For me, sitting in my chair right now, it's going to be a click of a second. But when I was playing this a little bit ago, uh, that took quite a couple hours. And usually, I'm playing this game in the middle of the night. So basically, this probably, if I can remember correct, it took from about 2 in the morning to till about 5. Maybe not all the way up until 5 because... We also did get the unicorn. I'm pretty sure I ended up finishing at 5. Uh, but of course, with every big tame that you get that also takes a couple hours, you don't want to be standing out a couple hours actually defending the creature. Basically, you, you've seen it before in other episodes. I build a wall around it that animals can't get into. And then I just kind of go AFK and hit it with some hook arrows once his constitution goes down over a longer period of time. But you can see here that I did build a cage around it, fed it some food, and now basically it's the waiting game. Uh, but here's the thing. We do need the saddle for it. The Vicious Bargash is one of those things, like I said, that I wasn't exactly prepared for. I didn't realize that I was going to get it this episode, but we did end up getting it. To make the saddle, it is more advanced than the rest, but we can make it at, um, now I'm like forgetting the name, but at the forge. But for it, we're going to need these fire crystal, like the fire elemental cores. Now, I didn't exactly realize where to get them from. I didn't know if I had to kill the fire elementals. And the stupid fire imp is attacking my griffin, but luckily my griffin is pretty strong. I didn't realize where to get them from, but you know what? I said, they're, obviously, I need to get them from the volcano. Let's just kill some mobs, see what I can harvest it from, and... Luckily, you actually can harvest them for fire imps, which are a lot easier to kill. Now, they do a good bit of damage, but of course, they're easier to get. So I went over here while the Bargash was taming. Its constitution doesn't go down very quickly, so of course, I could have just... I did. Just leave it there. It was fine. Uh, even if we went like a half an hour, we would have been fine with its constitution. But we do need to make the Vicious Bargash Saddle, which is a good amount of materials. It's actually not that cheap and we're gonna need a lot of these little cubes so we're gonna get some materials together to make some more slowly the one thing that I do have to add is the vicious bar cash saddle is probably one of the weirder ones in game because it just looks so odd 
instead of it being a saddle, it looks more like armor. And of course, we're making this out of the refining forge, which we got last episode. That's what I was talking about. That like we needed uh, getting this refining forge would help us get these advanced saddles and armor. This is one of the things that I'm talking about. The vicious spark as saddle. We can only get it with the refining forge. But here you can see that the Vicious Bargash is done, except here, and we can put the saddle on it. Now, one thing that is interesting about the Vicious Bargash is its health is insane. If you look at it, it has 3,000 health. That's crazy. Uh, I'm pretty sure my Griffin only has 1,500. Now, with its crazy health total, it kind of, or, okay, let me say it this way. It's super slow, so it makes up its slowness with its super high health, and it has a decent attack. Its attack isn't amazing, but you can kind of see here, because um, i got to drop some things. Its weight is also isn't the best, so it's slow and very lightweight, but basically this creature isn't really made for uh, being a mule. It's 100% an attack creature. High health, decent attack. It's kind of slow, so it's not meant to chase down things either. But you can see here, it's basically a boar with more health and makes more vicious sounds, you could say. And its saddle it doesn't look like a saddle, it looks like armor plating. But we can kind of test out how the Bargash kind of feels, which you guys could see here on screen. I'm going to be attacking some things really quickly let's see if we can take down this trent level 17 these things are pretty pretty hard to beat not amazing but you can see here it does 200 damage 200 damage is not bad i think swings from my sword do about 100 to 140 so that's not bad actually to attack is pretty good like i said but to make up for its slowness i'd expect it to have a pretty good uh attack you can see here 205 consistent consistently which is also really good and you guys will have to kind of uh forgive me stuttering a bit here it is pretty late in the morning or in the morning at night also i have a headache pretty big headache but you know what that's not that's it's not what this video is about of course today is about dark and light and by the way i've been having so much fun with this game i know it might seem kind of like i'm just like pumping out videos but it is because I've been having so much fun. Like I said, I played this like off YouTube. It's kind of like a test trial. And I had so much fun. I put about 50 hours into it. And at this point, what episode? I think we're on 15, right? I think I've put about 80 hours in the past week or two, which is not healthy. That's like more than six, seven hours a day. But man, this game has a way to pull you in. It really does have a way to pull you in. But this vicious Bargash here, we have a nice all saddled up all tamed up which is really really cool basically i know i don't know if you guys have noticed this but i'm pretty much kind of trying to start a zoo i kind of want to get all the creatures together and yeah see what we can do make like a little zoo and we're slowly getting all the creatures so now we have got the vicious bargash and its teeth are really creepy just to add but next we will be getting the unicorn so it's kind of ironic with the Vicious Bargash. The first one I tried failed, and then I went for the second one. Funny thing, same exact thing with the Unicorn. So there's a level 4 one here. This is the first one that I tried to get. Of course, use the Orb of Entanglement, because these Unicorns are exceptionally fast. That's the thing about these Unicorns, they're fast. But, of course, this stupid Unicorn, which was a low level anyway, decided to get stuck in the water. So I said, you know what, screw it. We're going to go for another Unicorn. And this one's level 41, so I said, hey, if I'm going to get one of these you know what i better go big or go home so you know what i said let's just go for a level 41 unicorn so i did have to pay though because this thing took very long to tame longer than it probably should have and of course there's always stupid goblins running around trying to mess up your day like i said these things are super super fast like you could see it it's entangled and it's pretty much running my speed now you have to imagine this thing not entangled but, of course, with every tame, there's always a Death Stalker waiting around trying to mess up your tame. But, yeah, uh, it ends up going pretty well. Now, of course, I have to like, a replacement with Entanglement because this thing will not stop running. Now, when I read the wiki and stuff, apparently this was supposed to be an easy tame. And 
in a general sense, I would agree. This is fairly easy other than the whole, th it runs very fast thing, but we do end up getting it down. Now, the cool thing about the unicorn is it's one of those things where you think, oh, it's just a unicorn. It's probably just like a horse that looks cooler. But no, the unicorn out of all the creatures actually has, uh, has abilities. Like with the Bargesh, of course, to attack, you attack with its teeth. Uh, with like, let's just say the Longhorn, how you attack is of course with its head. The Griffin, you attack with its claws. Uh, with the Infernus Dragon, once we get it, you're gonna attack with its fire breath. Now I thought this thing will probably just attack with its horn, right? No. Actually, this thing is like a really cool, like, electric attack. Which you guys will see once we actually tame it up. And it apparently has a healing factor, which I didn't really play with. Uh, but, yeah. If you ever go to war, multiplayer, get one of these to heal yourself up. Uh, but you can see here, the unicorn fell down. Now here's the funny part. These goblins, man, they're so annoying. He's already hit me once, and he hit me twice. And he actually manages to knock me out and take my stuff. So of course, we wait until we get back up. But here's the issue. It's a little bit too high leveled, and it knocks me out once again. I'm basically looking like a failed UFC fighter at this point. So, third time, and uh, for the third time it beat me up, but you know what, after that I kind of gave up and I said, you know what, punching is clearly not going to work, so let us go ahead and make an axe. Luckily, the goblin isn't interested in killing the unicorn like a death stalker would be at this point, but we can make an axe real quick and take care of this goblin very, very nicely. Like I swear, goblins are some like the most, like, they're cool. I, I like them in the game, they've got their own little role. But man, when they knock you out and steal your stuff, that is so annoying. Like, I kind of wish the goblins were changed to be able to knock you out, but not actually steal your stuff. Because, okay, knocking me out is fine, I'll get back up. But when they steal my stuff, I have no way to get it back. Which is super annoying. Uh, but like any other tame guys, of course, I built a house around it. And we're just going to skip all that. Bam, it is tamed. Here is the unicorn, no reason to wait. But this tame also took quite a while. Not as long as the Vicious Bargash, but it did take quite a while, which is really, really cool. And, of course, we're going to have to put some food into it. But, yeah, it is nighttime, but maybe this will actually help. You guys will be able to see its abilities a little bit more clearly. But let's go ahead and give it some food so it doesn't starve on us. Now, at first, I was kind of hoping, like, maybe I can just kind of get it through the door and ride out. But, actually, I don't think it can fit through the door. You can see me here try it. I don't know if it's too tall or it is too wide, but it doesn't fit through the door. So we are going to have to break this wall down here. And of course, I messed up the first time because I'm impatient. But another cool thing about the unicorn is it doesn't need a saddle. It is one of the only things that doesn't need a saddle. And here you could see that it's kind of like electric attack, which is really, really cool. Another one of its abilities is that it can dash really, really fast for a long, periods, a long period of time. You can see it here. Look at this thing. This thing is crazy. This is dashing and dashing. So the unicorn is definitely one of the more interesting creatures in the game. It has its like healing ability, its electric ability, and it can dash. So I'm definitely impressed. This thing is obviously not good for combat, and it dies very quickly, and it can't fly, so it's basically useless. But as a creature, it is pretty cool. Also, this is one of the creatures that can evolve. Of course, it can turn into the Pegasus, which we will try to get in a later episode. Obviously, not now. And it of course, I have to get it in, so we're going to have to break the wall to get it in. But I think our episode is going to end off here, guys. We got two tames, which is really, really cool. And check out the volcano. So, guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and comment. As a personal channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.